Welcome to your online art class with me, Mrs. D. Here's what you'll need for today's lesson. Paper, pencil, colored pencils, or crayons, or markers. Remember to pause the video here while you gather your supplies and begin again when you're ready. We will begin today's lesson by first practicing some relaxation. Sitting flat in your seat at the table with uncrossed legs, rest your elbows comfortably on the tabletop. Then pull up from the crown of your head to straighten the spine and relax your whole back and shoulders. Begin to relax the tension in your face, especially the jaw. Let your jaw drop open and hang slightly. Then check out your neck and wiggle the tension out of it by rotating your head from one side to the other side and now up and then down. Take a big deep breath. Let your shoulders drop as you exhale. Keep pulling up from the head with a straight spine as you drop your shoulders and don't let yourself slouch. Do this at least one more time. Relax the throat and chest area by taking completely silent, long, deep breaths. Breathe in through the nose and out through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. One more time, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Make sure your legs are uncrossed Plant your feet firmly on the floor, reshuffling your body in the chair to help your lower back area hold your weight in balanced, relaxed position. Check out your whole body. See if you are holding any tension anywhere else. You can release it by taking a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Check one more time. Take a deep breath in through your nose out through your mouth and release it all. Let's begin to relax our eyes by resting our elbows on the table and gently rubbing our hands together until they are warm. Close your eyes. Cup your palms and place one over each eye using the heel of a palm on each cheekbone with fingers crossed over the forehead. Make sure that you're not pressing on the eyeballs directly. Think of the area behind your eyeballs. Imagine a black dot on the back side of each one. Relax those dots. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Go back to the spots behind your eyeballs. Let's continue to relax them. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Relax them more and more. When you're ready, slowly and gently open your eyes. Try to maintain this relaxed state the entire time you draw. You can repeat this exercise for a minute or two at any time during the drawing session if you become frustrated or tired. Are you as relaxed as I am? Great, let's draw. In today's lesson, we will be learning to draw a lion. Let's begin with the eyes. Place the eyes so that there will be enough room for the large mane, the body, and the legs. Draw an oval dot for each one of the pupils. Next, we will draw a curved line over and under each one of the dots to define the outer edge of the lids, and a tiny straight or curved line for the eyelashes. Keep in mind, we will be building off of the parts we just drew by drawing whatever touches it or whatever is next to the closest thing. So in this case, the next thing would be the nose. Let's start by putting a couple guideline dots, one in between the eyes and one farther down below. 
And just below our top guideline dot, let's draw three more dots. Now let's connect the dots by drawing a line across the middle and then diagonal lines across the top and bottom to form triangles. You will notice one triangle on top and one triangle on bottom. Now for the cheeks and chin. Start a curved line in the middle of the nose and bring it around to the tip of the bottom of the nose. Then draw another curved line from the middle of the nose down to the bottom going in the opposite direction. Then draw another curved line below the cheeks to create the chin. Now let's draw the face and mane of the lion. We will use a guide dot above the eyes, but be sure to stay close to the eyes, otherwise our face and mane will be too large. Start near the middle of one of your cheeks and create a curved line that goes all the way around to the other side and becomes the face line. Notice that as you draw, you are always checking how close or far away things are in relationship to each other. This is definitely one of those secrets to drawing things in proportion. Now make two guideline dots below the lion's chin to mark how wide you want your mane to be. Leave a wide enough space to allow for the decorations you will insert later. Then start closely under the chin to create another curved line that goes all the way around the face and becomes the edge of the mane. Okay, let's draw the legs. Start by drawing an angle line with a point directly under the chin as long as you want the legs to be. Notice that the angle comes out about as far as the middle of the eyes above it. Draw a short straight line for the end of each leg. Then draw a straight line slanting out and up to the edge of the mane to form the outside of the leg. Make it nice and wide so the lion won't be too skinny. Now draw three circles at the bottom of each leg. These will be your lion's toes. Next we will draw the lion's body and back leg. Start by drawing a guideline from the middle of the lion's mane out towards the edge of your paper. You can use another guideline dot where you want the point of the angle to drop down for the bottom. Then draw a straight line for the back leg that ends at the same length as the front leg. Use a guideline dot if you need to designate where you want the stomach to bend into the back hip. Draw an angle line to form the inner side of the back leg. Now draw a straight line down and a straight line across to form the inner side of the back leg. To close off the end of the leg and to attach the three circle toes for the back foot. Make your tail go in any direction you want with double curved lines to form it. Make two curved lines that start out wide and taper down to a point to create the hairy end of the tail. The basic shape of our lion is now completed and you are ready to add more designs and color to your lion. Think about where your lion lives. In a jungle? At the circus? What colors, shapes, or lines can you add to make your lion special? Take your time and enjoy decorating your drawing. Please share your artwork by emailing sarahdrennan.art at gmail.com or 
coordinator at bakersfieldfamilymusic.com. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more online art classes.